is in the presence of God. Verse 4 tells us that God is our rock, meaning that he is our strength. He is keeping us. He is holding us. He is fortifying us. He is protecting us. He ain't letting nothing happen to us. Hallelujah. Say hallelujah. <laughs> he ain't letting nothing happen to us that doesn't build us up and make us more like him. So then whatever we go through, will build our Christian character. It will build us, it will make us more like him. So then even that thing that we say, I can't take this, God is saying, you can because I'm with you. Amen. Amen. He says, even in your weakness, my strength is shown completely. My strength is shown. I'm keeping you. Like Sister uh, uh, Lynette said, I'm carrying you. Yeah. You can go through a moment. I've been carrying you this whole time. Yeah. Jesus. Sometimes we pray. We pray for things. And, and, and we don't really think about what we're praying for. And we don't think about who we're praying to. God is our peace. God is our strength. So then, sometimes we're afraid to ask God for things because we're afraid of what he might do. God said he only gives good gifts to his children. Amen. Guess what? Sometimes a good gift is sickness. Come on, son. Because if that sickness keeps you near the cross, it ain't that what you're asking to do. Amen. He Amen. said, Lord, keep me near the cross. Yes. He said, I did. That's what you're yes. doing for kids. Yes. I'm keeping you because if I let you be free, you're going to get big here and you're going you're gonna to get out of control. So I'm yes. keeping you. Every chance you get to think that you get yes. in me, remember the kids. Come on, son. That's right. I'm holding on to you. Yeah. I'm holding on to you. You yeah. ask me to keep you. I've asked God in prayer, Lord, whatever, whatever you gotta do. Whatever you gotta do to keep me. Yeah. Keep me, keep me. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. It don't feel good, but it's good for your soul. Your, your, your soul, your spirit is possible. It's fine. Even as your body may be failing. It's alright. You know that you can live. So then I'm keeping you. Those trials and those struggles the Bible tells us. Don't be uh, surprised at these things when they come. Don't be surprised that these things are happening to you. Don't you know that these things come to build your character? That these things come to make you more like Jesus? Don't you know that this thing came to make you look more like my son? Come on. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Look at different ice sculptures. And they're beautiful. They're like, man, they did all of that yeah. with ice. You know it didn't start out with the game, it's just a big square uh, block of ice. Yeah. And it chiseled away. And it chiseled away. Yeah. And it chiseled away. And that's what God does with us. We are some, as the Bible says, some useless beings. Come on. We have all, who is all? All. Us. All turned aside. My Lord. We have, none of us seek after him. None is righteous. Who is none? None, none. none of us. No, none. not none. one. We are like that big block of ice. And God just little by little. This is what we call the big word sanctification. So this this doesn't happen overnight. But he takes us as, as that, that big great big block of ice. He just starts chipping away. Chipping away. And what is the Bible says he's doing? That he is conforming us to the image of his son. He's making us, in, in simple words, he's making us look like Jesus. My son is honor for you. And his righteousness has been uh, awarded to you. Not nothing you did, but his righteousness has been awarded to you. So therefore, I want you to look like who you represent. Hallelujah. I tell Charlie all the time. Sometimes you come out of the house and say, what, uh -huh. what you got going on there? What did you put on? What is this? Don't you know when you leave this house, you represent me? Oh, and so then if you go out there looking thrown away, that's her favorite thing. If you go out there looking thrown away, people gonna think I throw you away. What? <laughs> <laughs> you can't throw your way back. I don't want you, I don't want nobody looking at you and saying, baby, uh, hmm. We hug you there. <laughs> so, but, but the same way, God don't want us out here 
looking for the way. Looking for the way. He says, you're my child. You're the child of the king. And this is not, this is not, okay? This is not physical, you know, your, 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 your physical outwear, but it's spiritually. You sit out here crying and whining <laughs> about the gas prices. Come on. Like I ain't your daddy. I know. <laughs> your father has counted on a thousand hills. And 
Amen. You need more faith? Yes. yes. And amen. amen. You need courage? Yes. And amen. amen. You need deliverance? Yes. And amen. Come on now. Come on. Yes. And amen. Is found where? In the presence of the Lord. God. Amen. And nowhere else. All right now. No words. Let us see. Strength and peace is found in what? The presence of God. And what do we need to do when we get in the presence of God? Stay, Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. Stay there. I'm done.